everyone, Happy New Year and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate and recently I've been planning for 2018 and setting some goals for the year and thought I would share the tools I'm using to do this and what some of my goals are. Late last year, I heard a quote that really stuck with me, which was, if you want something different, do something different. So this year, I thought I would try something new by completing the Artist of Life workbook, which was created by Eileen from Lavendaire, who is honestly one of my favorite YouTubers. Using the workbook, I've set a theme for the year, a range of SMART goals, and even a bucket list for 2018. I've also joined the Artist of Life working group to help me keep motivated and accountable as the months pass. My theme for the year is courage and kindness. What I mean by this is the courage to pursue my passions and goals and also to be kind to others as well as myself. So based on my theme, my main goals for 2018 are around health and fitness, money and savings, hobbies and travel, and spending quality time with family and friends. I never drink enough water, so this year I'm making a conscious effort to drink at least two liters of water or herbal tea a day. And since increasing my water consumption, I've already noticed a huge difference in my skin. Another health goal I have for this year is to get my body moving again with three to five workouts a week. Whether that's in the gym or being outside, it doesn't matter as long as I'm being active. To be honest, I find being active outside good for my soul as there's so many beautiful places and things to explore in Toowoomba. And my main last health goal is to eat at home more often. Basically, I want to continue to reduce my takeaway costs by 30% and try and use my Thermomix a little more regularly. With my yearly focus at the forefront, quiet or me time is going to be really important as 2018 goes by. With this in mind, I'm going to try and meditate using the Headspace app each morning as I find it improves my focus and mood for the day. Another habit I want to redevelop is reading. I used to love to read. So my SMART goal for this is to read 12 books for the year. Also, I just had to show my book lamp off too. Another big thing I want to do is to try and be more grateful. So I'm starting a year of joy jar where I write things big or small down that I'm grateful for and put it in the jar. Hopefully by the end of the year it's full and I can read them all out. I know this is going to sound a bit odd, but in 2018 I want to do less cleaning or at least simplify my cleaning routine. I want to incorporate some speed cleaning blocks during the week so I have more time on the weekends to relax and enjoy time with family and friends. Also, I want to try and keep on top of things a bit better. So each Sunday afternoon, I want to sit down and map out key appointments, dates, and things I need to do for the week ahead in my diary, which makes me feel more organized and helps ensure that things don't slip through the cracks. So there are some of my yearly goals for 2018. I'll also leave a link below if you would like to know more about the Artist of Life workbook or check out some of Eileen's videos on her channel Lavendaire. Also, let me know if you want me to do quarterly update videos on how I'm going with my goals this year and what your goals are as well. See you all next time and goodbye for now.